providers, um, service, service providers, the service industries and hospitals and daycare centers, mostly jobs that can never be exported but are easily exploited and very often invisible. A woman who cleans your office or a man who cleans your office, if you're in a gleaming office building, does so in the middle of the night. You never have to know their name or see their face. They work very hard all night long, go home to give their children breakfast and send them off to school before they themselves go to bed and we don't even know anything about their lives because they are truly invisible. today on this afternoon, which we are really kissed, kissed by the good weather, to hear about and to stand up for janitors who serve our community, who serve our city, sometimes without ever us ever knowing that they are in our midst. Shatter our complacency. Give us a sense of holy outrage about this cruel and blasphemous abuse of your creation and your will. God, hear our prayer. Don't let us be deadened to the need of radical changes or casually bury dissent under indifference or turn our backs upon you and our sisters and brothers. God, hear our prayer. God, we confess that we stand in the richest country on earth where CEOs receive 419 times the wages paid to workers, and the bottom 60% of Americans share slightly more than 6% of the nation's wealth. Forgive us for failing to show love in the world as you do. Oh, for a world preparing for God's glorious reign of peace, where time and tears will be no more, and all but love will cease. We're going to take these bitter herbs and bring it up to their offices and lay it in front of them and say, if you want to know what it's like to be a janitor, taste this. <laughs> 